Mercedes tricycle, the world's first car. A curious cross between a cart and a bicycle, powered by an internal combustion engine. Just 130 years ago, the people of Mannheim in southwestern Germany witnessed the first public appearance of Carl Benz's invention. During this inaugural outing, on July 3, 1886, it seems that this, vehicle powered by a gas engine, as described in the patent filed in January of the same year, was above all considered a curiosity. One more. At the end of the century, we see an increase in attempts to create light vehicles capable of doing without animal traction. We talk above all about machines moved by steam engines, a track which inspires the French, Amade Bolle, and the Americans, Sylvester Roper, but the three-wheeled machine of Herr Benz which backfires on the Ringstrasse relies on an internal combustion engine. In addition, it has its own steel frame. These characteristics, and a few others, make the Benz tricycle the ancestor of the modern car. The father of all automobiles, in a way. The patent car. Carl Benz, 1844-1929, a graduate of the Polytechnic School of Karlsruhe, founded in 1883 a company specializing in the manufacture of gas engines. His tricycle, passed down to posterity as the patent wagon, the patent car, has been under construction for more than a year. The first outing, carried out at night for the sake of discretion, resulted in the vehicle being permanently immobilized after a hundred meters. But in this summer of 1886, Herr Benz's mechanics were running like clockwork. Technically, his choices are visionary. The engine is a 954cc single cylinder with a crankshaft equipped with counterweights, electric ignition, a differential and a water cooling system which is carried out by simple evaporation, which requires a large quantity of liquid to be carried on board. The carburetor works, meanwhile, according to the principle of the aspiration of gasoline vapors while the transmission to the rear wheels is carried out using two chains, one on each wheel. Installing a single front wheel simplifies the steering system. The tricycle was noticed by the press, who saw it as an extremely practical vehicle for doctors, travelers and sportsmen. Carl Benz, who designed almost everything himself, he went so far as to manufacture the solid rubber tires, had not managed to find a satisfactory solution with four wheels. Not far from there, in Stuttgart, the engineer Gottlieb Daimler also operates a four-stroke engine, but on the frame of a velocipede. It is the motorcycle that he invents. The merger of the two firms gave birth, in 1926, to Daimler-Benz. A success engine. In the years following the filing of the patent, it was its mechanical part that would make the success of the Benz tricycle. The engine develops 0.55 kilowatts and consumes the equivalent of 10 liters per 100 kilometers which is not, in itself, a problem. The real concern is the size of the tank which does not exceed 4.5 liters and, incidentally, the difficulty of refueling. The speed, estimated by its designer, is 16 km per hour and the driver must firmly hold in his hand the kind of cow's tail, ancestor of the steering wheel, which controls the front wheel. Only one copy of the founding model will be manufactured and the improvements follow one another. The second model develops a power of 1.1 kW and the third will be reliable enough to be manufactured and sold to some 25 copies. Its power reaches 2.2 kW. A stubborn but cautious inventor, Benz is not one to indulge in brilliance. His wife Bertha will take care of it. In August 1888, with her two barely teenage sons, she completed a 104-kilometer trip in one day which would inevitably make people talk about her husband, whom, moreover, she hadn't asked for anything before setting off on the adventure. The following year, the three-wheeler from Mannheim will gain even more notoriety since it will be presented at the Universal Exhibition in Paris. Despite all its qualities, however, the Benz tricycle engine was less successful for export than the Daimler engine, used under license with great success by Panard and Am. Leviser, a pioneer of the French automobile industry. Only one copy of this third model, dated 1888, has stood the test of time and belongs to the Science Museum in London. The Benz tricycles that can be seen today, including the one that will be displayed on July 12 at the Grand Palais, in Paris, 
as part of the Les Belles Etoiles exhibition organized by Mercedes, are replicas faithfully made in recent years by the Daimler Group.